The veil of secrecy that surrounds Britain's spy agency MI6 has been partly lifted with the publication of its first authorised history. Professor Keith Jeffrey of Queen's University Belfast was given a licence to spill the beans on the secret intelligence service after getting unrestricted access to the files. The new book was commissioned by the former SIS chief Sir John Scarlett to celebrate MI6's centenary last year. The man once known to his agents as C admitted it was a radical step for an agency shrouded in secrecy. Mansfield Cumming, uh, the first chief uh, of SIS, believed passionately in secrecy. What he called the first, the last and the most necessary essential. So I'm quite sure he would be surprised uh, to see me, who was until last year the 14th uh, chief, C, uh, here today uh, presenting a history of his service from 1909 to 1949. And I say his service because if it's anyone's service, it is Mansfield Cummings' service. Mansfield Cummings, the founder of SIS, is just one of the flamboyant characters who populate the book. Several legendary agents said to have been the model for Ian Fleming's James Bond also pop up. But Professor Jeffrey was unable to shed light on more recent episodes like the treachery of the Cambridge spies, the double agents like Kim Philby. The book covers the escapades of agents in occupied France and the beginnings of the Cold War. But for security reasons, it had to end its account in 1949. At the late, early Cold War, in those late 40s, you're beginning to set up long-term operations for the whole Cold War. And that runs to 1989. Maybe the next book will be 49 to 89. But 89 is just the day before yesterday. This is serious history about a serious grown-up organisation with serious secrets. And 49 is as far as we can go at the moment.